for the first time in, I'm going to say for the first time in over three years, the first time since I left my job as a teacher, Andy has refused to go to school this morning. Hello folks and welcome to another weekly vlog, a weekly vlog that starts with oh so many differences this week. Difference number one, um, I'm not in co-op car park. Anna's not at work. She's not at work for like one and a half reasons. Reason number one, and the main reason is because today is the day that her dissertation is handed in, although she actually handed it in on Saturday, so that in itself is not necessarily a reason for her to be off work. She did already have it booked off though, so she wasn't exactly gonna volunteer her services to go back in, but that's reason number one. Half reason that goes on top of that is that today is Anna's birthday. So as you saw at the end of last week's vlog, I may not have realized what month it was yesterday, so Anna's birthday presents, she's having a birth week rather than a birthday this year. So expect to see a birthday shena birth week shenanigans spread over the course of this video because today is probably cake day and then we might have card day and present day and I'm going to blame it all on the fact that the post isn't working properly at the moment because of everything that's going on in the world. Never you mind, it's not, the post isn't working. Um, <laughs> the third reason why things are very different at the start of this vlog is because for the first time in, I'm going to say for the first time in over three years, the first time since I left my job as a teacher, Andy has refused to go to school this morning. He, uh, he'd been going fine since the end of the Easter holidays. He'd been going every day. He'd been fine. The daily meltdowns and things that we'd been having were gone. We thought we were over the worst of all of the of all of the Andy impact of all the stuff that had been going on at the moment. But then, um, yeah, this morning, for whatever reason, he's decided he doesn't want to go. Now, I wasn't here. I was at Tesco doing the early morning, getting at eight o'clock to do the big shop thing. So I, um, I wasn't a complete witness to it. Obviously, Anna was. And we do wonder if that was maybe what caused the problem, because normally Monday routine is Anna's not here because she's at work. I am here and he goes. He got up this morning fine as normal. When I left just before eight o'clock to go to the shops, he was dressed, he'd had his breakfast. He was just about to go and do his teeth, get his shoes on and he did all that. He was sat on his chair, dressed, shoes on, bag ready and everything. The bus arrived and he just didn't get on it. He just took off his shoes, decided he didn't want to go, went upstairs, took his clothes off. He's not had a meltdown, interestingly. Um, there's been no screaming, shouting or anything like that. He just dropped to the floor, took off his shoes and refused to go. And obviously, there's no making him when he gets like that. He's 15 years old. He's bigger than Anna now. She can't pick him up and put him on a bus. And ultimately... There's no point in picking him up and putting him on the bus because all it's going to mean is when he gets there, he's not going to cooperate and they're on a skeleton staff at school. It's The whole point of him going back was that he wanted to go back because he was having such a hard time being stuck in the house all the time. So fingers crossed, it's just that. It's the fact that this morning was wrong because I was out and I was in. If it turns out it's it's more than that, we'll figure it out as we go. But he's not come back downstairs yet. It's now... Four minutes to nine, the uh, the taxi arrived 25 past eight as usual. I got a phone call whilst walking around Tesco for Manor at half past eight saying, yeah, he's refused to go, at which point I hurried through the rest of the shopping and came home. But I've not seen him since I've been back. He is just upstairs. He's got none of his devices with him. We're going to go and check on him in a minute to see if he's gone back to sleep or whether he's just up there sulking. He doesn't seem to be making a lot of noise. Um, oh, yeah, which suggests to me he's probably gone back to sleep. Why did he went for a poo? I sat at the top of the stairs <clears throat> and then he went to bed and then I came down when you came in. Yeah, so... Barely spoke to me. So if he's gone back to sleep, that suggests there probably is a little bit more to it than him just refusing. He's probably got a migraine or something, which he doesn't ever... He does suffer from migraines, but never communicates with them with us. So if he's gone back to bed and he had a migraine, then so be it. Um, if, there's, if there's more to it than that, we'll try and figure it out and we'll see. we'll see how we go. I don't know if we're going to try and get him back in later today. It seems like it's probably not worth it because he's not doing much at school anyway. It was more for him than Anna. Yeah, exactly. The, as Anna's just said, I don't know if you can hear Anna, but as she's just said, that he we sent him back to school for him because he needed it. Anna's finished uni now. You know, she can, she can be here with him if need be. But 
what we don't want is him at home the way he was before when everything was awful and he was having meltdowns constantly and he couldn't cope with not being able to go out. So I guess we'll just have to see how he is later today. My speculation is the bus arrived. He saw my car wasn't on the driveway, which is wrong straight away because my car's always on the driveway when he leaves to go to school. Um, he then remembered it was Monday and saw Anna was here and I wasn't here and everything was just a little bit different and it probably just brought on a migraine and now he's got up and gone to bed and he'll be fine later today and he'll be fine tomorrow. That's my current working theory. But we'll um, we'll see how things develop as the day goes on. But more important than any of that, happy birthday, Anna. Sorry, I have no presents and no cards. She does have presents and cards. They're just not here yet because I thought it was more fun to have a birth week rather than a birthday. This was all planned. Well, we've had lunch. He's emerged from his cocoon. He seems absolutely fine. Let's go with that. One more. Apart from the fact... I like, I like he's um, he's adamant he doesn't want to go and he doesn't want to go tomorrow either. So we don't know why, and he's not getting worked up or upset about it. It's not a massive issue because he doesn't need to go at the moment, and we don't need him to go at the moment. But just the potential long-term ramifications are problematic. You hold it. You hold it. Oh, find you. Go on. If you're going to be at home. You have to walk Dave. That's part of the rules. I'm going to chase you, chasing you, chasing you, chasing you, I've already got you. As you can see, due to some discrimination from Anna, these two are both wearing jackets, but I wasn't told I needed to wear a jacket. Apparently, I'm supposed to know for myself whether I need a jacket on or not. Like I'm psychic. You've been out twice today. Yeah, and I didn't need a jacket then, but now I'm out walking, I feel like I'd benefit from a jacket. Dave. David. This is very unfair. There you go, we've made it to the bridge. We're not going any further. You can go over the other side of the bridge, but we're not walking any further. That's far enough. <laughs> you don't like the bridge, do you, Dave? You're afraid of it because it's got gaps in it. So you get part of the way and then you panic <laughs> and come back. There we go. <laughs> Did you take a picture of them with your phone? Can you see them? Ah, 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 the lead is rubbing the back of my knees. Ah, oh, I've now got lead holes in the back of both of my knees. Lead holes? Lead holes, yeah, I've been sanded. Oh, thanks. I'm not having Dave and trying to get him. There you go, Dave's made it all the way over. You're allowed to go over too, are you afraid of the bridge? David. He doesn't like it, does he? He has a, gives it a very careful look. He has to stand in the room, though. Yeah. Make sure he doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> you got a picture? No, we're not going any closer. Yeah, Andy, home's this way. Oh, oh, careful. Someone's helping you. Yeah. Oh, blimey. Dave, you don't need to lasso him. He's coming. Right, back over the bridge, everybody. Let's go home. That means you as well, Dave. <laughs> he does not like it. Well, no. You've got to cross again now. Well, Dave, <laughs> Dave, you need to cross the bridge. Come on. Dave, come here. Good boy. No, no, I've got my shot. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness me. Never known such a silly dog. Good help with mommy. Are you all right? You want to hold it with me? Yeah, thank you. Look, if you just leave, don't press the button, you'll be alright. You won't fall down. Dave. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worry not, a parcel finally arrived. Is it for me? No, it's my hundred thousand plaque. Who's? It's got my name on Who's? the parcel. It's our hundred thousand plaque! I think, from YouTube. Unless they've sent me something that. else. I assume this is the only thing YouTube are planning on sending to me anytime soon. Oh, it was just left on the driveway and I got an email saying it was here. I didn't know or not. Yeah. There's no way to do this carefully. Kevin. Ah, right. There's your bit. Right, I have a letter. Oh my word, that is so cool. Look at it! <laughs> oh, you've got to be proud of that. 
Andy, look. Jeremy. We got one. Hi, Best for all yeah. of us. So. That's why you secretly changed the name. I didn't secretly change the name at all. That's why you did it. It was originally this, and then I changed it and changed it back. Now I know. Not right. for this. There were very good reasons for changing now the I name. Know. <laughs> this is getting framed as well. This is nice paper. Um, Andy, sit down. You've just done something astonishing that very few YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. Yes, we, we know that yeah. numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind this, that six-digit milestone. Each and every person who subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. Mm. You achieved this milestone with hard work, perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humour too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we'd like to recognise you and all your hard work work with this silver creator award a small token of our esteem and respect we don't uh, we know that you don't do this for rewards <laughs> yes, do. It does. <laughs> um, you do it because you have a drive to create and share and because you found an audience who cares believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next a million subscribers may seem a long way off right now but you're closer than you think and we're rooting for you congratulations yours sincerely my friend susan at youtube <laughs> Say that last name. Wojcicki or something, isn't it? She's the YouTube lady. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, and I have a little note here. This was packaged by someone called Rick. Thank you, Rick. Excellent. Well, <laughs> let's get this. Hold that. So I want to frame the letter as well. Oh, you can order extra ones for other members of the team. Oh. So we could order another one. Me. To, yeah. Go on the fireplace or something. Oh, I wonder how much they are. There we have it. Cool. That's really cool. Yeah, okay. It's a shame it's not one of the massive ones, but I guess is I started it? YouTube too late. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wonder really, it is. There's a mirror. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're, now doing, we're now doing birthday zooming you see Amy? with these yes. people. Yeah, Hello. 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 <laughs> now, <laughs> what we're going to do now, which can't be dangerous, is we have a cake we're that I've put on the computer. It. And I'm going to set fire to it on the computer. No, we're not. That, no, that's dangerous. <laughs> well, we you can hold it while I set fire no, to it. No. We have to set fire to the candle. I've got these ones as usual. We can do it at another time at a safer place. Scary ones. Yeah, right. We can't do it here. You'll burn. We're going to sing happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Anna. Happy birthday to you! Blow it into the computer! No. Woo! That is going all the way up to the ceiling nearly. That is awesome! It is. Okay, like, what is this? Just the one candle. Yeah. Right, shall we say bye bye to children's then? Because our dinner's going to be here in a minute. Bye bye, children. Bye bye. Have a nice bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Did you say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? bye. <laughs> okay, bye. 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 It is Tuesday and he's refused to go to school again today. Not only has he refused to go to school, he ref tried to refuse to have his teeth cleaned. He was just lying on the landing floor and he refused to get dressed. He's currently upstairs. It's 8.45 now. Um, so normal stuff got up at normal time or he was up when we got up wasn't he so we don't hey, actually yeah, know what he time he got up and um, we don't know how reliable that information <laughs> is um but he was up when we woke up um but he had breakfast and stuff as normal went upstairs at eight o'clock as normal to um have, to have his teeth cleaned have a wash get dressed that kind of thing and just laid down on the floor said he was stretching didn't he that's what he told me said, having a stretch and then he just refused to get up from the stretch and uh eventually you had to clean his teeth while he was lying on the floor yes. didn't you which is why Brilliant. you're covered in toothpaste <laughs> and that was as much as he agreed to he's not got dressed. Oh, no, he had his face wiped. Oh did he? Yeah. Okay and he's um, he's now back in bed we've contacted the school we're not we're not going to make a big deal of it at the moment because ultimately he doesn't have to be there at the moment anyway the reason more for him. yeah the reason we were sending him in is because he was struggling so much with being at home he was having daily meltdowns he couldn't cope with being here all the time if he's now decided being here is preferable to being there then that's I guess in the grand scheme of things actually better because that then means he's less exposure to everything that's going on, less school staff needed, that kind of thing. So it is kind of a better solution at the moment. It's just always a little bit of a worry when the decision is being made by him 
dropping to the floor and refusing to cooperate rather than making it because it's we think it's the best thing to do so we're not pushing it hard we're not going to make him go in or anything we're not going to be bundling him into the car and taking him there but it is something to monitor long term and that if he gets into the habit of being able to refuse i think at some point we have to decide when we tell him okay no school for the next two weeks or something like that just so that we can take the control of the situation back again but we'll see how things go he's fast asleep he's fast asleep I wonder what time he actually did get up. It might just be that he's tired. <sighs> yeah, I just went to get my glasses. Went Andy. Heavy breathing. Sleep breathing. <laughs> he's asleep. We'll keep you posted. <laughs> I have gifts for you because obviously it's still your birth week. Um, firstly, we have that gift. I wouldn't like oh. to speculate on what it might be. God, I don't know how you get down like that. I cannot. Don't give the secrets away. People don't need to know I'm squatting. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, Lord. Could you be any more... Could you be any older female woman? I hate you so much. So mean. I just had to add your name. So I added your name as female woman. Lady friend. Yes, that's your name. That's who you are. Happy birthday from your new official birthday date, Kevin. Yes, this is your new official birthday date. <laughs> I know, because I Your like, birthday has moved to the fifth. I like being on... Look at that, that. For someone who <laughs> likes friends, that is a card and a half. <laughs> We've got a picture of actual Kevin on the front. <laughs> oh my God, that's so messed That's a new picture. I took that one over the weekend. Oh my God. Um, and then I got you a gift as well. Oh, you actually went out. Yeah, hold well on. Just that's, a gift. This is an excellent gift, because this is one that I actually had to choose... Uh, so this is obviously Anna got this last week as her graduation thing I did um, which I got her then no you didn't um, but this, I purchased it myself she may have subtly sent me a link to all of the charms and said choose one so I chose one yeah but you said there wasn't one you wanted so what did you want I wanted a Donald Duck one to uh, represent me okay. but they didn't have it so what I got was this one because it's what you Aww. wear on your head when we go to Disney. <laughs> it's the little Minnie Mouse ears, like what she wears on her head. It is what so that will remind you head. of when we go to Disney. Oh, Not that we can yet. anytime soon. Oh, look. There is another present on the way as well, which should also be coming today, theoretically. But it might just be coming later in birth week. Who knows? <laughs> Happy birth week! Thank you. Do you want a birth week as well? I do, yes oh, please. Oh, it's pretty. I it's should hope so. as well. It's still pink. In other news, it's 10 o'clock and he's still asleep. Oh, I happen to do your bracelet now. Yeah, I can't do them. We now have an Amy, because it's Tuesday. <laughs> I've just banged my head on this, which is unfortunate. We have Andy with a hood up. Oh, and we birthday week continues. And he keeps. I'll Interesting. Well, he keeps saying it's birthday that week. So I think he, he thinks that's... <laughs> that's why he's off. Yeah. <laughs> that would be amazing if it is. Well, this is the last part of birthday week now. I so there was 36 coming. Yeah, I was joking. There's, well, there's, this has got lots of elements to it. Thank you, Kevin. Right. Would you like to show everyone what it is? I thought of this all by myself. <laughs> it is Poo Face. No, Two Face poo chocolate face. bar. It looked like Poo Face from this angle. <laughs> How did I know? You've got a chocolate bar. It's a palette. Chocolate flavour face paint. Yes. Excellent. It's and you should show Amy your new wrist attachment. She has a new wrist attachment. Mm. <gasps> Disney is. Oh, <wow. laughs> Do you want another 34 presents? Because no. I can arrange that if need be. <laughs> Here we have a lesser spotted teenager doing schoolwork. Hello Andy. You have your dramas back on. Amy's doing some work. Yeah, really wrong. What subject are you working on? Nah. Nerd! We've just continued our now weekly tradition of getting caught up on Marvel movies, which will take us like half a year if we just do one a week. 
Yeah, um, but I'm not, not going to do that. But you have to. I can't believe you hadn't watched. She we just watched Hulk, which she was supposed to watch last week after we finished streaming, I and you've left it an entire week. Because I fell asleep upstairs. Like. What? And then slept for a week? No, because I've just been busy and then I've been catching up on a lot of stuff. Well, next up is Avengers. I know. I'm so excited. I'm probably going to watch that tonight. Like so this time, we're being time serious. Last week. Right, we're now going to do live stream on the new schedule. Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Fridays. Apparently, each day has a number. Mm -hmm. Tuesdays and Fridays, eight o'clock from now. On, although it's eight o'clock now, and we haven't set up, so I should probably do that. It is Wednesday, as you can see behind me. It's He's still here. Now. We've agreed he's staying off for the rest of the week now. Friday's a bank holiday in the UK anyway, so it would only be two more days. And. Uh, he says he wants to go back on Monday, so we'll keep him off until Monday. It's easier than having the bus turn up every day and us have to turn them away. Um, we think there might actually be a cause of it as well. We had to call the doctors yesterday um, because he's got, he had like a, a rash thing around his mouth, which you have diagnosed officially as. He's got a rash on his face. He has white substance on his lips, down. which has transpired to be all the finished now. Transpired? Yeah. Huh? You, you can tell she's finished uni now. She's uh, like transpired. Well, so he's had to get some cream. I just knew what it was because my stepdad it when he had cancer. Yeah, so he's got some cream, which we're wondering if that might be the cause, if that was bothering him. Would that hurt? It's not, it's not, it's not great. Yeah, yeah. so it might just be that he knew he wasn't feeling great, so wanted to stay home and get that sorted. He was asking to go to the doctors on Monday, but yeah. we didn't know why he wanted to go. But so now, go yeah, <laughs> but it could have been that he knew we needed something sorted for that. So that's our sort. We picked that prescription up yesterday afternoon. Um, those of you who watched the live streams, we did do a live stream last night that we had to cut short. I'm going to drop a, couple, a little clip in here of what happened on the live stream. We had a long talk after this. Go to July, hey, July to PGL. No, that's shut as well. June. PGL's shut now. Yeah, PGL's shut as well, I'm afraid. PGL 2021. If it's open, we can't... This is the problem we've got. We can't June tell him when Lewis stuff will be open. No, he's not coming, he can't. He's not allowed to. Lewis is dead. No, Lewis isn't what? dead. No. Lewis is being sued. Lewis, Lewis, is, is, Lewis fine. is fine, but he can't come at the moment because he's not allowed to. Nottingham be open soon. Nottingham might be open soon. We'll have to see. We don't know. Oh. I think we need to wrap the stream up because I need to chat with Andy. So. He's definitely struggling to process what's going on at the moment. Um, and yeah, as soon as he, as soon as he asked if Shortstay was dead... That, that's kind of the point where we have to stop and have a little bit of a chat with him but um, I haven't listened to the clip back yet I'm assuming he heard everything he said but he was asking about going to McDonald's and going to Nottingham and all sorts of places and just really struggling to understand why he still can't go I think he'd got it in his head that as soon as May started everything would go back to normal and obviously nothing's changed and I think the changing of the month has thrown him a little bit and he's now asking for uh, he's trying to get us to promise he can do stuff in June. And we just can't, because we don't know if we are going to be able to do stuff in June. I hope we can do some stuff in June. Another week, another Morrison's box. But this time, it's a Morrison's box with a difference, because we've accumulated a lot of pasta and stuff that Anna can't eat, because she can't eat gluten-y pasta. Um, and we noticed they have a gluten-free box. Is this the same price as the No, they started the it one? this week. Oh, they started that this week, did they? Is it the same price as the other one? Yeah. So £35 for gluten-free. Theoretically, everything other than the bread and stuff will be the same, I guess. But we'll have a look to see what's in it, see how it compares with the other one. If you want to see the uh, the normal person one, that's, uh, that's the meat eater. That was two weeks ago. That's the what? The meat eater one. The meat eater one is the one we've done for the last couple of weeks. If I hand that off to you, let's get into it. See what's different, it immediately looks very different because there's a box of cereal in here. So we have some free from pasta, some free from cornflakes, some genius brioche burger buns, free from crackers, it's all free from stuff. The normal onions, peppers and things, loads of these free from products. Biscuits, I didn't know this, there was something in this range. Veggie yep, straws, which I know you like. Thank you. Some rice. Does rice have gluten in, or is that just normal rice? Some does, it depends what's in it. Biscuits, more biscuits. You've got a lot of biscuits. Some <laughs> genius bread as well. Free from cheese sauce and passata. So there's a, almost an entire lasagna in here. Some just onions, stock cubes, potatoes. There's no... Uh... 
quite long. No, chopped tomatoes, peppers, carrots, and I guess in here, meat, ice pack, fancy Cravendale milk, which she's also lactose free, so I'm gonna get my face around some Cravendale and love it. We have some cheese. <coughs> Do they have a lactose free one as well? No. It? Chicken, mints, Sausages, no bacon. No bacon, no kitchen roll, no toilet roll. Yeah, but a load of like store cupboard stuff. It's another cool box. It is Thursday, folks, and Thursday means Anna's final piece of assessment at uni. She is at home right the now. Um, yeah, your camera's not with us. You have to just use your phone. Um, Anna's at home right now doing a Zoom call mock court thing, which is our very final assessment. Everything else has been submitted to uni, so this is it now. After this, uni is finished, um, and I've brought Andy out to the level crossing on a Thursday, which we wouldn't normally do. Um, because normally he'd be at school, but that's not happening this week now. Um, so we've come out here just to get him out of the house because even though there are quiet places Anna could go, somebody has a bit of a habit of following her around the house. So if she goes up for a shower, he'll go up to his bedroom. If she goes to sort washing in the kitchen, he'll come and hover in the dining room. So he kind of hovers around following her around most of the time. So even if she went out to the garage to use my setup or if she went up into one of the bedrooms he'd still be nearby making lots of noise so it's only a half hour thing she's got to do i figured this will take about half an hour in fact oh. look andy are you going to film it on your phone or are you just going to not film it today watch, not film it. you're just going to watch it okay fair enough um but we now have the red lights yeah We're coming, Andy. Yeah. Is that good? Yep. So, which way do we think the chain's going to come from? Wait. It's going to come from that way, is it? We shall see. Well, we've sat here for 20 minutes, had two separate runs through the trains. I've not had word from Annie yet that she's finished, but she wasn't. She'd only have a half hour slot, so he's ready to go home. Yep. I guess we'll just do a slow drive. Hadn't even started up Spotify and it happened again. And he wants to stay now. Perfect timing. Jimmy Jazz on here. No, they don't. There you go. We're home. Anna's okay, just okay. inspecting pyjamas for crotch oh, holes, got which they all seem to have. Oh, have you found you your camera, camera now? Ah, oh, we couldn't find it before we went out. How was your uh, yeah, I won't wish that experience? So, what did you actually have to do? Horrible. Um, so, I did a kind seam scene right. a few weeks ago. And then after that, I had to submit a witness statement about my crime scene, because apparently that's what you do. And then I had to go court, and I didn't have my witness statement because I thought I'll do it off memory. And tore it apart. Ah. It was, I had errors. You were supposed to proofread it. I did proofread it, but I don't know the science terms. <laughs> no, it was supposed to be layman's terms. Oh, well then it was fine. He's wrong. Well, no, apparently I, I put that I had Got back to the police station at nine, and I uploaded my my uh, my photo at half seven. That wouldn't have been possible. Well, I wasn't. I was proofreading for English. <laughs> I wasn't fact checking. I wasn't told I had to fact check. Oh, uh, I got that wrong. Well, that was fine. And then I got asked about what did they ask about contamination, cross contamination, and my mind went blank. I just couldn't remember um, why I didn't check the other rooms. Well, so for, if someone comes into the house looking for £500, you're going to go straight to the person and ask them for the money, aren't you? You're not going to go to the bathroom. Mm. Winky, winky. Uh, depends if you need a wee wee. <laughs> so that was wrong. But, most importantly, you are now completely finished uni, winky. aren't you? Uh, a winky, winky, winky. Uh, winky, winky. Uh, no more work to do. I've just got one Nothing to stand in. I thought you'd handed it all in now. No, one's on the 11th. Oh, hand it all in, for oh, goodness no, you, sake. You've read it, it's just, I didn't. Send it then. I will. Send it now. I'll send it. I just want to check it again to make sure it's Good. And it's then a, you're it's done. It's a 2,000 word piece of yeah. work, so I don't know if you're done. You're certainly dragging out this uni nonsense, aren't you? Just get it it's over It's not with. me. It's COVID-19. I would have been finished weeks ago. If it, I mean, two weeks ago if it wasn't for COVID-19. It's always full of excuses. I'm, I'm gonna, excuses, excuses, excuses. I'm going to have a, a beverage now. Huh? 
You're going to drink in the afternoon. Everybody else does. Everybody else hasn't got kids to look after. I'm having one. And My word. I need, You're a disgrace. I swear to God, I can see why people go to the bar after court. It is awful. Because, right, m my lecturer was lovely, but the other lecturer was standing up, looking off to look, talking to a judge, then looking back why? at me. Because he takes it very seriously. And I was what like, because I asked before we started, like, do we look at, because when you're in a, a court, apparently, you'd look at the jury. And we were told we had to do that. I was like, well, where, where am I looking? Where Into the camera, presumably. Well, yeah, that's what they said, but I didn't want it. I did Because normally you wouldn't do it that way because yeah. we were doing it properly in like a court setting. Oh, there you go. God. Sounds like you had fun. I need to go and get on with some work now. It was an hour of your time. Yeah. We watched <laughs> three sets of trains. What, three up and down? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Well, it is now Saturday. Didn't pick up the camera at all on Friday. Fridays are quickly turning into the busiest day of the week. I was out in that garage making football manager videos because I have to do the ones for Friday and the weekend on Fridays. It's a random ball down there. Um, so I was out there from like 8.30 till gone five, back in the house for some dinner, then back out there again to do the live stream for this channel and record the podcast. So I don't know what these two got up to yesterday. What did you two get up to yesterday? nothing they got up to nothing so <laughs> it's now saturday afternoon we're out on our government mandated walk again we've done nothing today too liar what i finished everything i finished all yeah, but i've told this like that five no, times now i added another page to my media report <laughs> nobody I believes you anymore it. nobody believes it's finished and then i put it in turn it in then i took, emailed it to uni i got my email back saying it had been in We've done this so many times, nobody believes she's actually done. I'm done. You know full well next week, there'll be three different times that I'm saying, she's just done her last you, piece of uni work. You don't know anything, you obviously do not listen. <laughs> not really. Yeah, but we're out I for a walk. In other news, Andy's already been saying this morning that he's not going back to school on Monday. So, similar to what we said this week, it's not the end of the world if he doesn't. I think it's better for us to just yeah. Let him be at home if he wants to be at home. Now, the only reason we pushed so hard to get him back was because he was struggling so much at home, but it seems now he's seen the alternative. He's fine being at home. He's keeping himself amused. We're getting into some more routines with things on different days, like today was Toy Story 4 day, tomorrow is go and see the trains day. He knows what to expect on different days now. And um, I don't think there's much benefit in him being there. In fact, there's probably the benefits of him not being there probably outweigh the benefits of him being there. So we'll just kind of play it by ear. If he decides he wants to go back, he can go back. If not, he can stay at home. And then, of course, when the schools reopen properly, that's when we start to push a little bit harder. And me and Anna have already discussed that when that time comes, things like trips to Nottingham, rides on the trams, trips to London, all these things that he's been asking to do, McDonald's, they'll be the conditions of him going back to school when the time comes. So he'll have to do that stuff before, he'll have to go to school before he can do that stuff. So I don't have any fears of not being able to get him back when that time comes, because he's so desperate to do that other stuff that I think he'd do anything to be allowed to. You having a good look at the windmill? Well done. I can't see him. It's because you're too short, we can see him. They're the yeah, other side of the, the things. I can see one anyway, I it's a little bit misty, I think. Uh, yeah, we're not, no, we're not going there today, we can go there tomorrow. It is Sunday, which means one thing. Andy, close that window, you don't need oh, them both yeah, open. No, need, close that window. Fine, you can have one open. And that one thing that it means is that we're sat back at the side. level crossing waiting for trains and he's trying to freeze us because the temperature drop from yesterday is absolutely insane. It's yeah, so it like cold and windy and overcast. It's 13. Yeah. Um, in other news, I've got loads of these so that when I go out, I can look like a video game character. Yeah, you all know, looked at me weird when I gave you one. <laughs> I've got loads more on the way as well. So I'm officially now safer than Anna because she's not got one. I don't know my name. Safer than Anna, safer than Anna. And yeah, we're just I've been the going trains. to work for three weeks. I'm not, not sick at all. Safer! <laughs> yeah, but wearing them for 11 hours is not my idea of fun. No. 
I just take it off my nose like that, that's much better. Oh, your nose needs covering as <laughs> I just well. I'll it over the bottom of my chin. There we go. Um, yeah, I've, we've had contact with his school today, letting him know that he's not going to be coming back um, until schools reopen probably, unless the situation changes massively. He just doesn't want to be there. And we're not having the problems at home we were having before. So if we get back to that stage, then we'll review again. But for now, while the schools are closed, he's going to be off, which he's very happy about. As you can see, delighted look on his face. Um, and now we Everything just wait him. for trains. Oh, no school I, tomorrow. I was being sarcastic. Yeah. He already knows, he's been telling us. Mm. Yes, it, yeah, it's holidays. It's holidays just easier than trying to battle him and tell him it's not. <laughs> well, just on my first trip to the shop with the face mask on and um, massively steams up the glasses. If anyone has any solution to the mask on, Glasses steam. What? Wash them with wash not liquid apparently. That helps. Okay. Because otherwise I just couldn't see. Plus, trying to pay contactless using my phone. My phone doesn't unlock, believe it or not, <laughs> when I'm like this. <laughs> I know. It'll be interesting to see if it will when I've not got my sunglasses on. But we'll end the vlog there. Um we've ordered while we were sat waiting for the train, we ordered a couple of more from the website that Anna used originally, including an autism awareness one, which is quite cool. We'll show you them next week if they arrive. But we'll wrap the vlog up there. If you have enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the <laughs> subscribe to the channel uh, for more of this stuff. Home time. Watching a man try and take his coat off one-handed whilst vlogging. You could do that afterwards. And thank you very much for watching.